Hi guys. It is a cloudy, gloomy, gray Sunday morning here in the end times. It is Sunday, July 16th, 2023. We are what I call halfway through the summer of 2023 today if you consider summer as I do from uh, June 1st to September 1st so we are one half of the way through this brutal summer it is 79 degrees barreling down Interstate 81 south of Syracuse New York where I just dropped my friend off uh, at the airport so she can head back to the boiling pot of Austin, Texas. She can have it. And so anyway, it has been an interesting week. And uh, <laughs> with all of that shit going down there at that fucking bluegrass festival, that goddamn washout and meltdown going on uh, down there and somewhat as an offshoot of that the fucking another burned bridge in my life uh, a lot of talk about community I've been hearing a lot of talk uh, about this word community by you know talking about my friend and I were talking about this very thing yesterday about these music festivals it, it these music festivals are not about the music they are about community the music is one thing that brings these uh, you, you know communities of the, these small groups of like-minded people coming together sometimes into larger groups of smaller groups but it's all about community it gets back to uh, uh, Epicurus one of my favorite philosophers you know talking about how I've said this a million times how eating alone is the most depressing thing that a human being can do is eat a meal alone and that it's the breaking of the bread with uh, other human beings is more important to your health than the bread you're eating this is all about the same idea it's, the, it's this never-ending search that humans have for uh, for community that we are a social species and in the middle of all this I get an email from uh, this uh, one of our tribes members I don't think she would mind me uh, sharing her name but since she was uh, it was a private email I, I I won't but anyway one, one of uh, our Humpty Dumpty tribes members was asking sent me an email you know on the the very day that uh, Mark J uh, told me to go fuck myself uh, he, the, the very day that uh, you know if I had to choose and we're going to talk a lot more about this because what the rant about it. If, if I had to go through the list of people that I had have met on Humpty Dumpty Tribe over the years, Mark J would have been there. 61. Uh, I will be talking more about this. Uh, six, there's 61 people that I have actually interacted with you know in person that I have met online up until about three or four months ago Mark J would have been the number one person 
that I would have wanted to, you know, face the zombie apocalypse with. That if I was going to be creating a one of these uh, these bullshit intentional communities, he would have been the man. And he has managed to go from number one to 61. That that motherfucker is the very last person that I have ever met in person that I w would, would want to, you know, live in an intentional community with. Which is one, one of the things that uh, I, I still haven't wrapped my head around how I could be that bad of a judge of character but this is all going to play into my later rant but anyway this uh, this doomer chick she was asking me is there any chance that you're ever going to turn uh, bugs in a jar farm and she used the word commune but I think she was talking about uh, one of these intentional communities where a small group of us like-minded people uh, you know build a little community uh, you know get a small piece of land and uh, and, and build a you know a, a tiny house community or whatever a small piece of land with uh, where you can raise food and blah 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 and you know I used to talk about this a lot before I abandoned all hope in ever doing this so she was just uh, asking me if I had ever thought about doing this with bugs in a jar farm well obviously I have thought about it and I have rejected uh, the idea uh, that it, it, it's never going to happen. So I just kind of, you know, told her, well, you know, there's this little issue called winter time up here for six months a year that I abandon uh, bugs in a jar farm and I uh, said it's never going to happen since it would only be a community uh, for six months a year but even if it was six months a year you know we could still do this uh, in the summertime and if we really wanted to and if it got to the point where you could no longer be a snowbird you know we could make it happen that I could we not I, we could get a small community of us uh, and, and make a go of this at Bugs in a Jar Farm. But I've, but I've had this rant before, so I'm not just going to repeat the entire rant about why it's never going to happen. Uh, so it was just me kind of my cover story uh, but I've been really been thinking uh, about this, you know, between her email and my friend's visit and that trip to Gray Fox and that meltdown uh, with Mark J uh, has all gotten me thinking about this idea. So just kind of a Cliff Notes version of this. Uh, this rant that I've had before, the reason I'm 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 not going to uh, ever start or join an intentional community is because they do not work. They do not work, and they do not work for three main reasons. One of the reasons being labor division that I've found over and over and over again in my review of these places is that like anything else on the planet that 10% of the people do 90% of the work and the other 90% of these lazy motherfuckers lie around on their fat asses and let the 10% carry them along. 
and resentment builds up as it should that it's supposed to be is called carrying your weight chopping wood uh, carrying water whatever uh, you bring to the table it is supposed to be an even division of labor labor it does not happen and I would be one of the 10% of the people doing 90% of the work whether it was at my place or anybody else's okay the second reason is I don't give a flying fuck what anybody says there is no such thing as a quote and that's the word egalitarian community the person who owns the land is the boss the buck stops there now if it was a bugs in a jar farm I would be the boss uh, so uh, there is that as far as I'm concerned but I have no desire uh, by being the boss means you get to play the cop and it's up to you to uh, y y you know let's face it to kick people out to decide who is coming in and who is getting kicked out and uh, I, I don't want any part of that uh, from either end. Uh, so I know, well, Sandy, this is you calling, but uh, I'm doing a rant, darling. So, uh, so anyway, and then of course the third reason is personality conflicts, is the number, e even if you could settle out those first two if if you uh, if you really could uh, create a, a truly egalitarian place that did not have a dictator benign or otherwise uh, and you really did have a you know let, let's say 10 people and everybody did 10 percent of the work even if you could do that it is personality clashes and you know this basic worldview uh, blah blah this everything about it it is not going to work uh, familiarity breeds contempt uh, it, it's that simple that there's no way that out of this uh, raggle taggle uh, motley crew of doomers that uh, it, it, it could ever happen at bugs in a jar or anywhere else it ain't gonna happen because we're, we're, we're basically j just a bunch of scoundrels is what we are it, it, it ain't gonna happen it, it, it would uh, the honeymoon might last if it were the summertime you know if it were summertime we might get three months of living peacefully together before uh, the fighting broke out and we would be cannibalizing each other uh, in, in the winter uh, you know the shit with 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 Mark J is is, is one perfect example. And this is, is just like you would have to make some basic fundamental decisions uh, about just you know basic fundamental lifestyle choices. And vegans uh, is one of them. Uh, you cannot have vegans living with meat eaters it, 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 it just doesn't work I don't give a flying fuck uh, what any but what any fucking vegan says I don't care if if they are not a self-righteous militant vegan there is no fucking way that a vegan is going to put up with me or any other meat eater. It just isn't going to happen. Now, meat eaters can live with vegans. I have never met a self-righteous, militant carnivore in my life. Never happened.
I've never met someone who eats meat uh, turn in to Mark J. Uh, you, you know, I've never seen a fucking meat eater try to force their fucking lifestyle choices down a vegan's throat. But vegans can not help it. So right off the bat, uh, I, uh, there, there's no way that that a fucking vegan uh, is is going to be happy at Bugs in a Jar Farm. We got fucking uh, shit roasting on the, the you know on the fucking grill. Uh, we got three gas grills and three charcoal coal grills here. A lot of our fellow Earthlings get barbecued and eaten. So right off the top, I don't care who the fuck you are. I, I, I don't care uh, how well we get along and everything else. If you're a vegan, you you ain't coming to you know to bugs in a jar farm. And then you know, do we allow people uh, who voted for Donald Trump? Uh, to show up at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I'm okay. My best friend in the world voted for Donald Trump twice. I can live with uh, people uh, clueless enough to vote for that, uh, for that motherfucker. I don't have Trump derangement syndrome. But a, but a lot of people do. And they, it would not work. Uh, that anybody who votes for Donald Trump uh, would, would, would never make it. And, and I could go on and on with this. Then there's your, your choice in music. Uh, you know, I like to listen to Buck Owens. Uh, <clears throat> I, I can imagine... Uh, well, he knows who I'm talking about. Um, anybody, anybody who listens to Death to Pigs uh, is not going to last more than a week uh, listening to, uh, to Buck Owens. So anyway, but here's what I did. Uh, what I did last night, because I've never done this. I literally did literally you've heard of this back of the envelope calculation back I literally have created a back of the uh, envelope calculation to figure out how many people that I have met on social media and taken the friendship beyond social media to real life. So I'm sure that I missed a few people that I might have met for lunch or whatever. But as far as I can recall, I have literally, you know, physically met up with 61 people that uh, I have met on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and to a lesser degree, uh, to a lesser degree, uh, Collapse Chronicles. 61 of you that uh, either I have spent the night at your place, you spent the night at my place, you know what I'm saying, that we have had some sort of uh, in-person uh, relationship. So, uh, obviously, you know, so I did not, this is not looking at anyone that I have only ever communicated with uh, through social media. And so my question was, okay, out of these 61 people, out of these 61 people, how many of them could I see myself on any fucking level, you know, surviving a zombie apocalypse with, that if we were stranded at Bugs in a Jar Farm, just this small group of doomers, how many of these people 
what I want to share my life with and I, I love many of these people dearly. I consider them and you got to understand as you're listening to this I did not factor vegans, music, politics, or religion. Okay. I did not even put these people through the vegan uh, politics, religion, blah, 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 uh, future uh, 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 filter. So what you're getting ready to hear, uh, if I had done that, so anyway, here is here is what I came up with on the uh, on the back of the envelope. So we're going to start with the girls. I have met 23, 23 females on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles, and that I've actually gotten together with. Uh, in some sort of physical relationship and I know you guys are itching to know and I don't mind answering the question I have crossed the pink line with one female I have met in my entire life out of the 23 I have crossed the pink line with one of them and I have gone right up to the pink line without crossing it. Not counting fingers, motherfucker. Uh, so, uh, just so you know. Okay, and here is the end result of where I stand with these 23 uh, Doomer chicks. Okay, six of them turned out to be total fucking psycho bitches from hell. Total fucking psycho bitches from hell in the short time I knew them and I will never want to see any of these fucking psycho bitches again as long as I live. Okay, now there's four uh, of these women and I don't know how many of them might be listening to this there are four what I call potential psycho bitches that they're not psycho bitches now but I know if we ended up living in close quarters through the end times there is a great potential that they would turn into psycho bitches okay now one woman who would have made the cut she's dead so we have one dead doomer chick and i think probably at least a second dead doomer chick just a guess one of these doomer chicks i put into what i simply called not a fit just while there's nothing completely, you know, that I could put my finger on. It's just not a fit. Uh, now, under drunk, under drunk alcoholic, I just have one, although in parentheses, you know, I put being a drunk is a major part of being a psycho bitch but you can be a drunk and not be a psycho bitch but uh, I don't want any drunks uh, living at bugs in a jar farm uh, now four of these women uh, I have just what I called fizzled you know we met and liked each other but the relationship has been fizzled and a close cousin of that is that I have been ghosted by three of these women and if I want to be honest with myself I've been ghosted by four of them so what I come up with is out of the 23 original doomer chicks that I have ever met a total of three of them make the cut of those three 
as I say, if I want to be honest with myself this morning, I would put one of them in the ghost category, bringing it down to two. Of those two, one has would have absolutely zero interest on any level and and switching out uh, her lifestyle for bugs in a jar she would just go down in a zombie apocalypse that leaves one female on this planet that i have ever met on social media that would uh and i will let you guys take a guess uh who that is and you had a hint in the last 15 minutes. Okay, so we have one female, uh, you know, well, one to three females out of the 23. So let's break it down for the 38 guys. Okay, as I said, uh, of all the men I have ever met up until a few months ago when he went down the fucking tubes, Mark J would have been the number one human being on this planet I would have chosen to face the apocalypse. Now Mark J finds himself in the male version of the psycho bitch enemy. There are, out of the 38 men that I have met and gotten together with, I consider two of them to be my enemy, Mark J and Knight Skylight. I have made two enemies out of 38 men. Uh, let's see, I've made six enemies out of 23 women and two enemies out of 38 men and the potential enemies out of the 38 is two kind of like the potential psycho bitch like right now i get along fine with them but i know if we lived in close quarters uh they would turn into enemies surprisingly uh, there's only one person that I had to eradicate for being a drunk. Uh, you know, the, the vast majority of the guys were just your basic fizzle. Your basic fizzle. Uh, that was 11. You know, 11 guys that I've gotten together with. We enjoyed each other's company, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 11 of them have just fizzled out. Two of them I put in as ghosting me. And since one of them is the husband of the woman that, if I were honest with myself, had ghosted me, really that uh, three of them have ghosted me, uh, I still want to hold out hope for this one married couple. Don't know if they're listening to this or not. Uh, okay, then I put in here with the men what I call wrong partner, where they would have, six, six guys would have made the cut. However, the partner their partner would not have made the cut. So they would be invited, but if they're not partnered up with a doomer, it's never going to work because you have to be a doomer. So if you are a non-doomer, even if you are you see what I'm saying? So I hated to do it, but I had to put six guys on the chopping block because the people they are with would, uh, would, would clearly not make the cut at, at uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm or any other intentional community. So I hated to cut those six. Now, three of them... Uh, I, 
just uh, again for they just weren't a fit were not a fit while it, it, it was it, it was hard to pin or it was more just I don't know intuition that for whatever reason I don't care how much I like these dudes uh, blah 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 how much they're doomers it's just not a fit in a community session and then I also have this category called miscellaneous uh, I have three of my doomer dude buddies that I have met just for miscellaneous reasons I had to as much as it hurt to put them on the chopping block so we're left with a grand total out of 38 men I have uh, eight potential men that I could see me facing the zombie apocalypse with living in close quarters at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Now, of course, as I say, if I were honest with myself, one of them has pretty much ghosted me. So that brings it down to seven. And then of those remaining seven, uh, I know right off the hand, right off the top, just going through those seven, I know there's a vegan in there. I, I just found out yesterday uh, that, that there's a Trump voter in those seven. So, dude, uh, you, you were on the list, but, uh, you know, I don't care if you voted for Donald Trump. You know who you are. Uh, you, so you're, you're, you're kind of on the list with me, but it wouldn't work out with the rest of the people. And a, a, another one uh, solidly on the list, your, uh, your taste in music. Uh, I love you, brother. You would make a great addition to the team, but uh, the, the, the music is a deal killer. It's just, it's just a deal killer. Uh, I guess you could get headphones. Uh, so anyway, uh, the, the absolute out of 61 people, I have an absolute range. What is it? Eight guys and three women. I have an absolute range of 11 uh, people. And uh, what would it really look like? Uh, I guess there, there might be one Doomer chick in a sausage fest. There'd be one chick, one Doomer chick, and maybe three guys who would uh, cut this list who uh, I would want uh, to, uh, you know, to hang out. It just, it just wouldn't work. You know, as I've said before, it, and, and I meant to put this earlier in this rant, you know, with friendships, I say there's three, you know, choosing friends. There's three main areas, and there's affection, respect, and trust. And the uh, affections, the easy one. I mean, not counting, what is it? These uh, six psycho bitch females and six psycho bitch, two psycho bitch males. Out of 61 of these people, e even the ones I know who would turn into enemies, right now, out of these 61 people, I still uh, feel affection for uh for what is that 53 of them i mean affection is the easy one but uh it's it, it, you know it, it it's the easy one and then you have respect which uh is a little tougher uh you know generally if you're a doomer you have my respect uh it's uh so respect it can be kind of a slippery slope, 
but of the of those 53 people I can't think of any of those uh, uh, of those 53 people that I still feel affection for I mean none of them stand out that I don't respect them that they seem like uh, you know other than the 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 absolute last shred of respect I've I ever had for Mark J he is flushed down the toilet and the and, and these other uh, few people uh, you know it's not that hard I generally respect people's decisions you know if you don't beat your damn dog uh, you know I, it, I can't say that I respect anybody's decision to vote for Donald Trump or, or Joe Biden but that that's your while I don't respect that decision I can live with it that's you know if as long as you're not uh, trying to force me to vote for Donald Trump or Joe Biden uh, it's a fucking free country uh, and then there is the big one called trust which is the hardest one of all uh, and, and after this uh, little episode with Mark J uh, you know the the man that I trusted as much or more than anybody on this list how they have gone from 10 out of 10 stars in the trust category to zero out of zero I said so if I was such a bad judge of character with Mark J is I can't trust myself I can't trust myself to be a judge of character of anybody else. So uh, it's this thing about trust, and you know, there's two branches of this. There's number one: do you trust this person uh, never to attack you personally? You know, there, there's that level. Uh, uh, okay, will this person ever attack me personally? Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm talking. Well, I guess I'm talking physically. I, I guess I'm not. I, 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 I can't eliminate physically wanting to attack and kill me if you're living with me in close quarters for a long period of time probably several people on the list and probably more women than men on that 53 list would want to would, would want to physically attack me but you know what I'm talking about it's that I would say something I would have a rant I would state an opinion and because my opinion differed from because I held an opinion different than somebody else's opinion and this is why there would be no vegans allowed then the it's more important to that person that I share their opinion on everything on the planet than uh, you know it's their way or the highway so there's that level of trust and then a much bigger one with this group of doomers is just not so much personally but, but about it manifesting into a personal attack but could I trust this person uh, in times of stress just not to go fucking just you know general wacko uh, and, and, and just go, you know, just go literally psychotic, uh, you know, in a, in a stressful, isolated situation. And uh, that, is, which, which of course, you know, who, who leads that pack uh, would be Dulcinea. 
uh, you know so by, by the way guys anyone who's wondering about Dulcinea you know I was trying to I of course uh, Maggie was the single hardest person on the planet for me to uh, put in one of my little boxes I did not put her into the psycho bitch category like probably anybody else who has ever seen uh, her videos in the last year before her, she lost her YouTube channel uh, Maggie what was never a psycho bitch towards me now she was put in the potential psycho bitch okay just so you understand but uh, for all of you guys wondering uh, was Dulcin what category did have moment but Dulcin and she was uh, in the uh, she was in the potential psycho bitch category uh, at least as far as I'm concerned and no she is not the one I crossed the pink line with thank God I never crossed the pink line with Dulcinea but anyway I see my battery light flashing and I have a German chocolate cake ice cream cone with my and Sancho's name on it in my near future I highly suggest you get out there and grab a German chocolate cake ice cream cone while you still can and find your own intentional community because it ain't happening at bugs in a jar farm as much as, as much affection as I feel for you guys bye guys